Today, we will talk about distribution yield, definition, what it measures, and calculation. A distribution yield measures the cash flow paid by investment vehicles like ETFs or real estate investment trusts. Instead of calculating the yield based on an aggregate of distributions, the most recent distribution is annualized and divided by the net asset value of the security at the time of the payment. The calculation for distribution yields uses the most recent distribution, whether it's interest, a special dividend, or a capital gain, and multiplies the payment by 12 to get an annualized total. This total is then divided by the net asset value to determine the distribution yield. However, using a single payment can distort the actual returns paid over longer periods. The distribution of one-time special dividends can skew distribution yields higher than actual returns. On the other hand, calculations based on distributions composed of interest and recurring dividends are generally more accurate. To determine true yield, investors can total all distributions over the preceding 12 months and divide the sum by the NAV at that time. Mutual funds and ETFs usually issue capital gains distributions on an annual basis, which represent the net trading profits realized during the year. A distribution yield calculated using either of these payments has the potential to reflect an inaccurate annualized return. Investors often compare the SEC yield, also known as the 30-day yield, with the distribution yield. Both are estimates of bond returns, but they are calculated differently. While the SEC yield is an annualized figure based on returns over the most recent 30-day period, the distribution yield takes the most recent distribution and divides it by the NAV. Opinions between analysts and investors are split over which yield is better to evaluate investment returns. Suppose a fund is priced at $20 per share and collects $0.08 cents in interest payments during a month. The interest is multiplied by 12 for an annualized total of $0.96. Cents. Dividing $0.96 cents by $20 gives a distribution yield of 4.8%. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Distribution yield measures the cash flow paid by investment vehicles such as ETFs or REITs. 2. It provides a snapshot of the yield available to investors from the financial instrument, but special dividends or interest payments can skew its calculation. 3. To calculate the distribution yield, the most recent distribution is multiplied by 12 to get an annualized total, which is then divided by the NAV. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.